reply to him. <laughs> he was just in chat. Okay. Okay, good, good. Um, tell him that he can just. Well, he can join the next one, but we're like five people watching two people playing here, so might as well just play as someone who's not in here. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and now we, we're, we're gonna just watch Kalevi. Like that? Is that gonna work? Move your camera somewhere. Just, just see. Okay, good, good. Okay, it's following you. Be right back. I have control now. So, I do not know a single Mac, Mac build. And by you, I'm just restyling. So. Yeah, I, I think I could do a Seed Rex band. Maybe. But, but I like to be aggressive, especially against the mechanically superior player. <clears throat> okay, I'm back, guys. Let's see what I missed. Alright, we're gonna follow everyone now. Uh, Alright, nothing much, it seems. Kalevi just expanded. One barrack. Ooh, we don't even know if he's gonna go for bio. Oh. <laughs> oh, and there's a fast expansion from. This is faster than it usually is for Teddy. And I don't there's, think. Uh, it was like something like whatever Nexus. Yeah, you can't really do anything about this, I think. Since you went for a fast CC nah. as well. That's nice to. Any kind of aggressive play now would have to be like really, really. Um, poly. Yeah, y if you pull a bunch of SCVs, you can maybe do something, but yeah. That's very risky. It would probably work, and then you say GG as you push. <laughs> Here comes the GG train. <laughs> okay, I can also hate butter. Do you, have, do you still have um, the Stubbo website? I want. I wanted to see the. Um, I. Uh, the. Like we have. We have the stuff. The, the, like the website is down, the but. All the memes. Yeah, you know, no, the website is down, technically, but man, maybe I should talk to so maybe I should get that website up and running again. It doesn't cost that much. We've gotten a lot of patron money while nothing's been happening because there's one guy still sub to our patron. I don't think he knows it, so I get $5 every month. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't tell him because, about it because it's the Christian thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's if he doesn't need that money... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he needs it. Maybe he was just five dollars short of a new wind kidney operation. <laughs> yeah, he's American and he's five dollars short of a kidney operation. <laughs> Gee, yeah, like <laughs> Gee, I need, I need twenty-five thousand dollars for this. Ah, I got twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-five, but <laughs> for some reason I'm five dollars short. I don't know why. Uh, wow, you get the scout off just before those photon cannons finishes. I have no idea why he's pulling so many photon cannons in front. I don't think photo cannons are that good versus bio. I think, I think he just fears bio. Yeah. As he shoots. <laughs> Fear the bio. But you haven't even... 
Like, he hasn't even scouted your bio, he's just assuming, like, those, if you were going mech, those three photon cannons are so well, useless. To be, honest, to be honest, it is a safe assumption. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Like, his whole build is based on it, like, even his early nexus, you could have punished much harder if he were, like, two-factoring or something, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know how I should feel about the fact that nowadays the t Protoss builds cannons against the Boyo Terran, and previously it was the Terran just builds a bunch of bunkers. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Huh. Now, interestingly, uh, I have I finally reversed the table. <laughs> you're just going for marine medic, and if this actually works, he can't he can't oh. complain against me. What? What did you cancel, cancel that? The I have a better idea. Okay. Well, the ghost is a good, good idea. idea. And you're oh, I was gonna say your supply block, but you know the worst thing for you that ever happened in Starboy is when we. Oh, wait, do you need a fa do you need a factory for nuke? For nuke? Yeah, I think you do. I don't remember, but I think you do. What is it? The fusion core. I don't remember. Like I was saying, Kalevi, I think the worst thing that ever happened for you, in Starboy, is when we removed the cold down, oh, cold down oh. supply depot from the command center because then you got supply stuck all the time. All right. Well, interesting build here from uh, from Teddy Bear. Uh, that yeah. Might just work. Yeah, it might. It might. We'll see. I can't really say much about it because that will be. But it is interesting. Oh. You have so few workers in Star Wars. Like when I was playing Mech earlier, I was like, all my bases had like no SCVs. Oh, and your natural has a lot of mining SCVs right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I want to build many deep posts. Many a depot was constructed that day. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> We're talking about supply blocking, and you're still getting supply blocked. <laughs> Ooh, I like how you're building that one depot to make sure you're not supply blocked, and make sure that he can't take his third. Oh, he hates you now. <laughs> you're not even finishing it. You're like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good luck with this 200 HP building. All right, so the nuke, yeah, you need a fusion core. All right. Now we know. Yeah, so it's gonna we be a while. Have canceled this factory. Yeah. Uh, well, this is gonna take a while, but we're gonna get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spank that supply depot! I hate the zealot attack animation in in StarCraft Two. It's so much better in StarCraft One. That one scouting zealot, I like it. He's gonna. Oh, I don't have barrel stabilizers. Well, you do soon. You will in eighty seconds, if the game lasts that long. Well, this is a fairly passive game. <laughs> well, that's the money scan right there. You see exactly what it's going for. Zealot High Templar. Which is an interesting uh, choice. Hmm. And then this unit. I built two star pods, even though I want to build one. And you know what? I actually do want to. Why? Teddy, why did you do that? I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't think that's a good unit versus bio. All right, whatever. Oh, well, we're about to see what what happens. Oh, how the... Kalevi, are you cheating? No. How did you know that was DTs coming there? Well, it's just luck. That is very lucky. I don't know if Teddy should be fighting this. Oh, you even set up the point defense row now. Well, that's an interesting use of the point defense row there. It's defending, and it, it's on point, and it's a turret. It's not a drone. I call it a point defense drone in my patch notes. <laughs> I'm, I know so much about this. Finally, the nuke is on the way. After just five tech buildings, we are here. So will Kalevi be able to win on two base, or will he just lose? Because he's not going to make a third. I think we, I, I remember when we tested Pros versus Bio a lot before, I think we also ended up with the same conclusion that Teddy Bear is now that High Templars are just superior to Reverse versus Bio. Oh, he really needs to get some observers though. Oh, I like this. Sniping the, oh, boy, they don't have a lot of HP. Oh, you don't have the Kinetic to stabilize research. Or, well, you may have, but you don't have enough. No, you don't. Never mind. 
That ghost is hiding in the corner. He's on a timeout, man. Oh, a third base? What is this, Kalevi? Okay. Well, Teddy Bear is looking a lot stronger now than they did in any of the previous games. Alright, is he gonna make an observatory? That would be very helpful for him. Okay, there we go. He also has an upgrade advantage, I think. Uh, maybe. Not for long, I think, though. A lot of scans. That ghost sneaking back in. Gonna get some get some of that healing juice from the medic. No, the medic just runs away. Nah, we don't want to heal you. You outrank oh, us. God, I just need so badly gas. Well, you are mining it. You can always make more marines. Something has been removed, I see. What has been removed? Some things. Okay. Alright, some things have been removed. Uh, like Reapers? Reapers have been removed though. Haven't they? Yeah, you can't make Reapers anymore. Thank goodness. Oh, you're making a bunker there? That is so BM. Oh yeah. Many a change. Alright, Teddy's not going to get that fourth base. Meanwhile... Oh, nice reaction time on that pulling. I don't think he killed a single worker there almost. Yeah, wow. Very good reaction time. Oh, don't go that way, Teddy Bear. He's the Marines that way. Oh, he's going to try... Can he... Oh, he actually oh. saved it! That's pretty cool. He can save a morphing unit? I didn't even know that. Ah, uh, that's a different one. Okay, so we got we got the we got the vessels for EMP now. Oh, another storm! Only one kill on that high yeah. Templar. Wow, you've been dodging these really well. He's killed three workers. Now that worker is gonna the the ultimate revenge: the worker killing the high Templar. This is so ironic. Meanwhile, although we have an attack, I should pay attention to this. So we got the PDFs. Oh, the no! Oh, every single high Templar has been EMP'd. Ooh, big blow for for uh, Teddy Bear here. I think he's still gonna hang on hang on to this game for a while, but that was that was that was a bad engagement for him. He needs to split his high templars. Like his his solution to all his problems is called micro. And that's another excellent EMP, and I don't think he's gonna be able to hold this now. <laughs> that's one one angry ghost dying. Everything in the same control group? DTs doesn't help much when you have that many. Oh, there we go, the storm from behind. Okay, that was actually really helpful. Doesn't the High Templars have feedback? No, they don't. Which unit has feedback? Oh, that's the Dark Archon. Okay. Well, he could have actually made Dark Archons. He had a lot of Dark Templars, he didn't. that was fairly useless. He has 35 probes there? Holy crap. Oh, oh very nice defensive matrix there. What happened to the chat? Did everyone just leave? Oh, we have 13 viewers, but no more chatting. Alright, whatever. As long as you're here. That's what's most important. Well, I think... Well, it's gonna lose this natural, but I think he... I think he can eventually repel this attack. Come some speed lots. They're always good versus marines. Oh, he radiate on the high templar. That's hilarious. You can actually radiate the Zealots too, but I don't think you want to. That's like radiating really good Ultralisks. Oh, the Medic on the ramp. I like the idea. Okay, there we go. That's a nice storm. Oh, another irradiated to Hard Templar. Quickly, morph into an Archon. Find a friend. Oh, too bad. Well, I think this... Oh, you should not irradiate Zealots, man. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> They're just going to kill your bio faster. All right, he needs a couple of Dragoons to deal with the Science Vessels. Well, even like a Corsair or something, I don't know. 
A scout. Alright, so uh, I think Ted is going to stabilize, but he is falling behind now compared to how he was earlier. Oh wow, that's a big unit clump right there. Um, probes? Alright. That's a decent number of this straight up good gateway units. Why isn't it attacking with that zealot? It's it really is good. Why is he making DTs? It's like the dumbest unit to make when there are so many science vessels out there. It makes no sense. I don't understand that. Oh well. Well, Kalevi would have won if he had spent his money. <laughs> Quickly make an Archon! Oh, Man, he radiates kill High Templars really fast. Alright. So where does Teddy go from here? Why? Stop making that unit. Mm, I like to call down SAVs to repair the science vessels. That's a good move. There we go, yeah, get that invaded zealot in there. He deals so much more damage from just being irradiated. Look at all the damage he does! All those medics are basically dead. Okay, so Teddy has officially stabilized. He did lose his natural. Uh, but he should be okay-ish. Like, he can still technically win the game, but it's gonna be hard. Shadow from morphing an Archon looks really weird. Or just a shadow from an Archon in general, because it's only the things around it that has shadow, and the rest doesn't. Oh well. Okay, now the whole thing has a shadow. Huh. Never noticed this. What do you think about Archons versus Bio? I think it's a really bad idea, to be honest. I mean, might as well. Well, you want to have them as High Templars and use the Storm. Look, if you look at uh, Archons in, against Zerg, the only time they are useful is uh, also against uh, Zerglings and maybe Ultralisks, but you move them sometimes anyway, even if they all they have is just Hydras, because they tank so much damage. Well, Archons are incredibly useful versus Zerg, but uh, whatever. Um, they're part of the late game tech army. Okay, here comes some EMPs! No, maybe not. Oh, it radiates. Oh, and another computer crash from Teddy. No. Okay, so he actually, okay, that was kind of nice by Teddy. Oh, but he's gonna run into so much bio. This is the war prism. Luckily for him, it was empty. All right, but I don't know if Kalevi can attack into this though. This is a lot of strong cross units. No, he can't attack it. Okay, oh wow, the storms. Well, the first storm was good. Oh, okay, never mind, they're all good. Good enough. <laughs> That one, <laughs> one marine getting the D-Matrix. That's funny. Alright, wow, Teddy's actually not doing too shabby. He's got his natural back up and running. He's gonna run a little low on minerals, though. So. Yeah, this is a smart idea, Teddy. Yeah, that's good. Um, he needs to start, like, sending small groups of zealots here and there. Uh, Bio is surprisingly mobile in Starbo. Alright, where... Let's see what what does he know? Ooh, that's interesting. What does he know? Huh. Alright, well this is what I was talking about. That's maybe a little bit too many units to commit to this. Just a small group of zealots would be much smarter, I think. That is such a fleet of science vessels. That's insane. Well, that, that's pretty good for us, though. That's also some pretty good for us. Ooh, interesting. Where does Teddy go? Like, what is your, like, your ultimate perfect army versus this, though? Where do you, like, 
keep it. I think Teddy Bear should go for Stargates and some air units actually to deal with the science vessels. Add on a couple of scouts, you can use Disruption Web to control the ground. Something like that. Or maybe even like Dark Archons to feed back the science vessels. Oh yeah, Enforcers are so bad versus Archons. But the Archons shouldn't be all out there by themselves! Oh yeah, EMP. Quick work of that. Alright, so... Let's see where we go from here. Big Bible coming up. Holy crap, the science vessels though. That's the scary part. Alright, Teddy Bear needs to storm the science vessels! Oh no, there's no way. Yeah, that was not a good engagement for Teddy Bear. Just, yeah, they do have the warp drive thing. Wow. But it's just a blink. You can't just warp anywhere on the map like you can do in StarCraft 2. That's kind of crazy. Did, was that like a... That is a lone zone. Oh, he was F2-ing. <laughs> Teddy Bear already back to F2-ing after so, ma so much bird war. Yeah, he is. He's totally F2-ing. <laughs> oh, EMP! <laughs> like how you, you almost killed the Photon Cannon, but you, you modeled it the, for the, like the last 3 HP. Oh, uh, full disarray. Yeah, these, these science vessels are reading you the game now. And all the other units as well. But yeah, Ted is dead. Don't GG though, poor guy. He's already mad enough. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that's nice, the Matrix. You can actually kill your battle cruisers, I think. That doesn't matter. We need to get someone else in Star Wars that's better, Yuka Levy. We need someone to put you in your place. Because you've just been winning everything now, and I'm, I'm, I'm faring for your ego. It's a lot of Dragoons he's got right now. It's actually not a bad idea if you just get enough of them. They do scale very well in numbers, but it's just not enough right now. Teddy's not gonna leave anytime soon, is he? He's got 18 workers in that one gas. Oh, that sneaky bastard! <laughs> Well, that's probably why he hasn't left the game yet. Doesn't really matter though. There's a lot of bases on this map, so. Wow, you were ne like none of you were ever close to max. Like the supply you have right now might be the highest you've had all game, which is kind of weird. Being that long of a game. Putting shield on the weakest oh, unit. There's an army in the back. There's an army in the back. Oh, not anymore. And these science vessels. Poor Archon with no HP. Actually, I think Scouts has a purpose now. You know what I mean? If you had mixed in some scouts earlier to start sniping down your science vessels, I think that would actually be really good. And they're way better at doing it than Corsairs are because the science vessels are armored. Actually, Corsairs do extra damage versus armor. They have explosive damage, so. Like I attacked him with a CVs. No, you just. Oh, you're just repairing a ton. Okay. Alright. Teddy, this is. Now it's time to GG, man. Should I type GG? No, no, but he has the worst GG timing, so he should GG like half a minute. Like three minutes ago. I don't know why it's not GGing. It's fine. But, okay. I'm supply stacked anyways. That's why I can't close out the game. <laughs> yeah, it was a very interesting game. I think he could have won it on several occasions. It's really hard to fight Bio in the open, though. That is so hard. Uh, yes.
Oh wow, that's nice to say well played. 